So first we have Kong. Kong with the Beast Glove to be exact. So this one is going to be the one, well of course you guys guessed it, in the new Godzilla movie, Godzilla X Kong The New Empire. That's coming on March 29th, which is I'm going to see on the premiere, the 28th. Can't wait for it. It's going to be an awesome movie. But anyways, back to figure. So, with this figure, this one is probably the heaviest one out of all of the ones I'm reviewing. This one is pretty good detailed from like the last movie with Godzilla vs. Kong. This one's a little bit more detailed around the face. Yeah, I would say so. And I like the paint and the sculpting on this one. I like how the Beast Glove is. I wish it came with uh, the Battle Axe. Well, I hope in the movie anyways it comes with the Battle Axe. I'm looking forward to see Kong in this one actually. I love the details on his glove. Yeah, I like this figure a lot, actually. This one, you can, um, there's a lot of ball, ball joints here. They're very good. I really enjoyed this Kong right here. I like him. I like him a lot. I'm looking forward to seeing him in the movie. Up next, we have the main antagonist. Scar King. I like this action figure. His, they didn't do so good on his face. But for the rest of the action figure, you can play with him. Like, he's actually very playable. He has uh, kind of the same things as Kong with the ball joints. But he has longer arms. He's a little bit more flexible. And he comes with the bone whip. You can see a little jaw at the end. Not bad in length. I like him. Well, not in the movie, say, but I like the action figure. They didn't do so good on the painting for, like, the chest and the face. But this is a pretty solid action figure. I like it. Next, we have Shimo. Yes. I love Shimo. Look at her. She looks so cool. She's so unique. I love her um, dorsal plates or crystals. I love the type of blue, dark blue they are. And with her little tail whip right there. Her mouth opens very wide. She's kind of big. She comes with her frost breath. You just stick it in there. Okay, it's in her mouth. Okay. I like it. I mean, I would actually make it longer because it's a very, like, short distance. But I, I like it. I love how Shima looks like. Pretty good action figure, I would say. Next, the final one I've been waiting for. We have Godzilla Evolved. I like this action figure. I love the dorsal plates here. Not so much on the color on the tail, but I love right here. It looks kind of like a... and It's an upgrade for his tail compared to like 2014-2019. It'll be... um. It will be completely in his advantage when he's in a fight. Same thing for his little arm blades here. I love how they finally like upgraded him. He doesn't have much of a stomach. Kind of miss that. But they did not a good job on his eyes. Yeah, they did not do a good job. But that's okay. What do you expect? But he does come up with his fire atomic breath I'm gonna stick it in there hang on there we go let me fix this up hang on there we go I like it same thing with Shimo I wish it was a little bit longer like how uh, Mechagodzilla's one from 
I'm pretty sure it's uh, Playmates or Jack Pacific, something like that. This is pretty cool. I like it. I love how they have Godzilla evolved with red. Well, in the movie, it's kind of pinkish. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. Now, this one is different. This one is more detailed. This is the Battle Roar version. The eyes, they did a better job. I love that they colored this, finally. And this one has the same-ish color of red. I like it. Let's hear the roar. I like it. I like it a lot. I love how he looks. I love how he roars. They made his head very small, like dude, like with the proportion of his chest. But it's okay. I like it. Uh, I can't wait to get my Haya Godzilla Evolved action figure that's coming out soon. If you guys love like the new version of Godzilla, please pre-order it. He looks awesome. It's at the Big Bad Toy Store. It's a very good amount of money, 50 bucks, but I'm here to review these toys. I like these toys. These are very playable. They're not really movie accurate, I would say, but it's okay. They're meant to be played with. Thank you, guys. Here we have this version of a different Kong, again, with his beast glove. Um, these, he is red, okay? Like, I, spoiler for if you haven't seen GXK yet, but he was not red at all in the movie. Um, I like how they don't do for the whole body, but I prefer that. He's basically, he is the same exact Kong, but just they repainted. It's okay. I uh, it's okay. I, I really don't mind this color scheme for it. It's still the same action figure, but they just added a different color. Not bad. Okay. Moving on. We got Scar King that looks basically the same. Just a little black to it. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry. A little dark in the mouth here. They didn't even Try to pay attention on the other side either, but yeah, um, a little disappointing. I was hoping they would have like him with instead of his tooth. Same, same thing for Kong here. Like I missed the opportunity. They could have just colored his tooth here. But um, get, get out of here, Kong. But for Scar King, same thing with his tooth. Like you know, spoiler again. Yeah, he, he's okay. He's, he's the exact same, but just a little bit of dark to it. That's it. That's literally it. It's okay. I guess. Then we got Godzilla. He is blue right here. Man, that is a blue raspberry blue. I would have liked to see this in the movie. Like, I was going to use this in my own movie. Like, when she moved, like, hit... Godzilla with the frostbite thing. I was going to use this, but I didn't want to make the movie too long. So, but I still don't like this color scheme difference. You see how this is a little see? You see how this is a little see through here? And then you got this. And the color is very different from this detail of the like spikes down here. I still don't like that, but I kind of like the blue here. I mean, I wouldn't like this in a. Like, in the real, real action figure. I mean, I'm not calling this one fake. I'm just saying, like, this is a secondary one. The other one was the main headline for Godzilla X Kong toys. Again, I wish they would have painted this here. I've seen so many people customize, like, their own action figures and color on themselves. Maybe I should do that. I like it. Moving on with Shimu. Same thing with Godzilla. I like the blue here. Oh, they got a nice little blue spot we got here. That reminds me of Chill Bill. 
still blue here same all of them have the same articulation no surprise there i like how they have like the little different shades of blue on her back and her like the crystals on her back they do both come with the accessories like they did in the last action figures for both of them with their like abilities i like shimu this way too like it'll make her like a, a supercharged shimu or something like that if the whole body was blue I didn't really bother to open this one because that one is the same basic one from 2021. It has a different heat ring, but I mean, come on. That, that is, is just a sad attempt to sell old action figures. It's okay. And here we have Suko, the, you know, little Kong that's supposed to be like the new son for Kong. In the Godzilla movie. I re I liked Suka in the movie. Doesn't really look movie accurate at all, but I mean come on. I like it. They had this is like by far the most articulate. This one by far has the most articulation. Yeah, little legs, we got joints here. You go like that. Man can play soccer for all he needs to do. Now, we got the goat. The best thing that's ever happened to the MonsterVerse. We got Doug. Oh, yeah. That is priceless right there. I don't know how the government allowed this, but this is like the most priceless thing on Earth right now. Wow, that is beautiful right there. Doug. I wish they would have showed him more in the movie. We need a Doug solo movie and the show. Wow. What a... I mean, it looks terrible. But what a beautiful, beautiful sculpture of Doug. Love it. Okay. Okay, guys. This marks part one for the Godzilla X Kong toy reviews. I will be posting episode two shortly. Please like and subscribe for part two. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.